I'm Robert Hall. I own Almost Human. We created all the makeup effects and props and special disgusting things for quarantine. He's a super realistic artist. Robert Hall can create a prosthetic and put it on a person and you cannot tell where the rubber meets the flesh. We sat down with Drew and John in the beginning and talked about different looks. We wanted the infected to not look too zombie-like. We wanted them to exist in the real world. So we went and looked at the symptoms of rabies and broke it down. Like, if your lungs are filling up with air, you're gonna have a hard time getting oxygen, so your skin might turn a little blue. Originally, we conceived the ideas for some of these infected people that had sort of a more jaundice sort of skin tone as opposed to the, the pale, sort of bluish white look. And we were trying to go down a little bit of a different road, but ultimately, I think those guys said that something to do with it, they looked like they had herpes or something. So, so we, we ixnate on the, on the yellow skin tone. He really helped implement and added a lot of uh, his idea of having their teeth breaking if they're gnashing their teeth may break up a little bit over time, or their lips might get cut up from that kind of thing. Ultimately, we decided that we would just take all the reference material that we could find, all the, um, all the videos, all the photos of actual rabies victims, be it animals, humans, whatever that was, and take that and expound on that and really push each one of those symptoms to you know, the 10th degree.